Hey guys, so today I want to check out iOS 7 beta 3 here on my uh, iPhone 4 um, from 2010. You can see it's the iPhone 4 up here. And you can also see the model. There we go. So uh, this is the latest iOS 7 uh, beta 3. Uh, so let's take a quick look at it over here to see how it is running uh, on the latest version of iOS. And uh, let's just go over some of the new things. The first thing that is new here is that you can see that when we go into the lock screen mode, that, let's see here, uh, that the bar there at the top is getting a little bit bigger. Uh, so you can see a bigger battery icon, uh, some bigger stuff there that is getting a little bit bigger there in terms of the font size compared to when you uh, start to use the device. Let's see what's happening here. So you can see that this of course is not running super good here on the iPhone. Seems to be some kind of glitch here, maybe. <laughs> I just went into the lock screen and... <laughs> okay, let's try to restart it. So of course, with betas, weird things could happen. Wow, that is weird. So I can't unlock the device just by tapping on the home button. So that's pretty interesting. <laughs> I'm pretty sure how to fix this. I didn't really think this would happen, but let's see here if we can hold in both buttons. Okay, there we go. Starting up again. That was weird. That was very, very weird. <laughs> uh, you don't get that much transparency either in the n n new beta, of course, in iPhone 4. But you get that in iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5 because they can handle that. Device is booting up here. There we go, okay, now it seems to be working. Okay, let's see here. Hopefully we won't get the same problem this time, but I will try at the end of this video. Okay, so let's continue here. The first thing that you need to know about this latest beta is that it has a ton of bug updates and bug fixes with AirDrop. AirPlay now can send music to Apple TV and you can like play next song. You shouldn't have any issues with that. Uh, volume up and down problems uh, that you did have sometimes with AirPlay uh, should also be fixed. Some calendar updates, iCloud, uh, if you do use that keychain little feature here inside of settings, it's not backwards compatible uh, with earlier betas. So that could be good to know, I'm not even signing into iCloud, but of course it has Find My iPhone. 
which has a new kind of mode called activation lock. So if you want to change Find My Phone, you need to insert your own password. Uh, there are bug updates to MessageJS Network, Newsstand, Passbook, Siri Voices should also be updated. But then, of course, this is just the uh, the um, the the iPhone 4. Uh, it's not the iPhone 4s, so you don't get any Siri over here. You can also see here that some UI tweaks here in terms of the font. Uh, when we go down from the notification center. And then also what we can see here is, uh, of course, if we were to make folders here, if this would be the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 4s, we would probably see more transparency, uh, especially here. You can see we don't get any of that transparency. Uh, but there are some apps definitely that's been updated as well. Uh, the calendar now should show, uh, the, it should show when you have planned something in with a little dot uh, under. Uh, and then also, uh, let's see here, uh, some new fonts here in the weather app should be. Uh, so if we go into the weather app here, we could have some new fonts in here. Uh, some small tiny updates in there. Uh, and then also some icons down here should be a little bit updated, maybe in terms of how they look. Uh, and then also, let's see here, um, when you play music now, uh, with let's say the Spotify app, let's see if I can pull this off, hopefully th this phone won't lock itself right now, uh, on the lock screen. So I'm opening up Spotify here. So it's loading up. See here, and there we go. Okay, so now when you play music, see here now it's streaming. Uh, when we go to the lock screen, you should now be able to see the clock. There we go. You can ha you see that little clock icon there at the top. You didn't get that before. Uh, so that can definitely be good to know. You can see here that it's still pretty slow uh, going out here, uh, very, very slow there at reacting. But then also remember that this is an old iPhone. It's a very, very old iPhone. You can see here when I'm doing multitasking, uh, it works pretty good here when you go into this menu and you can easily swipe uh, away things uh, that you don't want to have open up. A uh, passbook should also have some updates. Uh, and then I will probably maybe can try out the browser and other things in other videos. Uh, but uh, we also have a calculator update. So if we go into the calculator over here, uh, you can see here in terms of the UI, I'm not really sure if they updated it on the iPhone 4, but they did that on the iPhone 5 and also probably on the iPhone 4S, even though I haven't tried it right now, but it should be the same kind of deal. Uh, Siri, of course, we don't get any Siri here on the iPhone 4, as I said earlier, uh, but now also when you download apps, so when you go here, and uh, let's just go to, let's say here, yeah. let's try to connect to the network, there we go, now it's connecting. See if we can do a search here. Oops, uh, I did forget about that. <laughs> so it's still actually playing music in the background. I did forget about that. Let's see here, Spotify app is a little bit slow, uh, but once you start playing, um, you don't want to play around with going in and out that much. Let's just swipe, that's way easier. Let's go into this app, install this app, probably have to input or turn my password and all that. Let's see. Do you want to install? So 
So you see also that it seems like we can have some Wi-Fi issues here as well. There we go. No, it did work. I'm just putting in my password here. Can't connect to iTunes. So yeah, it seems like I'm having some Wi-Fi issues here. I didn't have any uh, on the iPhone 5. So that it's dropping the Wi-Fi connection maybe. Let's run them. Unable to join, even though I know my network is working. So uh, you can see here that we do have some issues here, a ton of issues on iPhone 4. Let's see. And I have a very, very good network as well. But there, when you download an app now also, uh, the logo when it's loading, downloading the app is a little bit different. Uh, let's also go quickly here, go and check out brightness and wallpaper. You can see here that they've changed the UI a little bit over here in, in this area. Uh, you don't get, of course, the dynamic wallpapers or anything cool like that in here. You only have the normal wallpapers. And I'm not sure if I said it, but it's a little bit darker in here as well. So if you want to check it out, you can definitely do so if you are a developer, but if you are on the iPhone 4, it's probably not super exciting. Uh, you can still go into the menus over here. You can also see when we're going down like that. You don't get, of course, no transparency here. I also think that they might have added some graphics here when you go down like this. There may be some small change over there. I'm pretty sure, and then also, of course, if you would try to share on this, it's not gonna work, so it's gonna be the normal voice assistant or something. I'm holding in here, and it's not even coming up. Uh, we do, of course, the voice memo app from the earlier beta, but you can really, really see that they do struggle uh, when uh, we do have those. Um, animations going on when we go in and out of apps and go out and you also did see earlier that I did have some serious issues here that sometimes I couldn't really load the phone sometimes it doesn't seem to be reacting which is a little bit random here you can see also how it looks like so if you want me to compare a specific app or browser or gaming or something, please let me know about that and I will see what I can do. Yeah, peace out.